So last week I was on my Facebook page and I was scrolling through and I come across my friend Daniel Orion and he is from Lucky Pick Guitars and he was actually in his workshop probably making a, a cigar box guitar and he said that he also makes some pretty good wine. And if anybody knows me, I absolutely love wine. I love red wine, I love white wine, I just like wine. So I figured I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try it. So I went to the store today and I got all the ingredients. So basically what it is, it's four gallons of apple juice, three, what size is this? Three liters of nectar. You can get any type of nectar that you can find. Uh, Daniel's didn't use this kind, but all I could find was apricot, apricot and guava. So we're gonna try that. You need four pounds of sugar. You need two grape juice, frozen concentrate juice. And you need a packet of yeast. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and mix everything up, give it a stir, and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do after we get all that mixed up. We'll put about half of the liquids in and then we'll pour some sugar in. I'm kind of really excited about this because my daughter, Caitlin, is getting married in about three weeks. So maybe we can serve this at the wedding anybody would like to try it there so let's do shall we put the sugar in now to get it dissolving okay let's go ahead and we'll put these down here okay and get this in oh my goodness this is going to be so much fun oh listen to that <laughs> five gallon jug and I found this at Walmart because Daniel told me on his video that he found it at Walmart and it was $12.88. I didn't think that was too bad for a five gallon jug with the spout. Right. And when you think of the price of one bottle of wine, like a good drinking wine, like I'm like super excited because if this comes out good and it's like yummy and tasty, my goodness, we're saving so much money doing it ourselves that it's like gonna be great. How am I gonna get that open? This goes like this. Okay, and then this must pop open like this. Okay, so this looks like that's, I'm gonna stick my hand down here so it doesn't splash. But this is your grapefruit concentrate. And you need two of those. So we're gonna put that there. Oh my goodness, it's already smelling like really good. Okay, I'll put this one in here. Oh, look at the color. <laughs> okay, so now let's do um, a 
let's just go ahead and do the nectar. So I'm thinking, so this is apricot nectar, okay? I'm gonna shake it up. Okay, I'm gonna shake it this way. Cause see, like the nectar, see how it's like kinda got like the thick stuff on the bottom there? Okay. And like I said, now Daniel said just mix everything all together. So that's what we're doing. Ooh, that's kind of like thicker. Ooh. Oh, that's, if you could smell that, it kind of smells pretty yummy. Okay, and then this one I found. Lava. So we'll shake this one up. Okay. Oh, it kind of like smells like grapefruit. Anyway, if you're not familiar with Daniel Orion, he builds guitars and bass guitars out of cigar boxes. And we actually got my girls and I got my husband one for Father's Day. And it is absolutely amazing. And before the video is over, I will go ahead and show you the, the cigar bass guitar that Daniel built for my husband. It's amazing, it's beautiful, and it sounds great. So if there's any musicians watching this, um, I'll put a link to his page down in the description. And then you guys can check that out. I don't know if this is all going to fit in here. Let me get one. You only and have then, to do half of this one, though. Oh, yeah, Remember? that's right, half of that one. We may not have enough room for half of that one, Bob. True. I think that's good. So now we have apple juice to drink at the house. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a stir. It doesn't fit all the way down to the bottom, but that's okay. We will get it down in there. Okay. Now, here comes the important part. So, I have a pack of active dry yeast one pack I spent like a dollar thirty something a dollar twenty eight or dollar thirty eight on a pack of three so all we do sprinkle this on top just pour that in there like that okay. now we'll give this a stir Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we got this all mixed up. Now what we do is it comes with this little lid. Very loosely, Daniel said, now I've never done this before, but I'm going up by his directions. Very loosely, put the lid on so the air can get to it. Now, I am not going to be able to lift this, so when my husband gets home, I'll have him take this to a closet or somewhere out of the way. This is going to sit for two weeks. After two weeks is up, we're just going to go ahead and give it a stir. And actually, I'm going to have to ask Dan if we have to give it a stir. I don't think you do stir it. I think you just pour this out of the spout into a bucket. And then you're going to, there's going to be like stuff at the bottom. You're just going to throw it out. You could probably either put it put it through like a cloth paper too if you wanted to do that. And then you're gonna rinse out your jug from all the yuckies or whatever is in there, the sediment. You're gonna put it back in this jug. It's gonna go back in the corner for another week. After three weeks, you're gonna have your homemade wine. It's gonna be able to drink after three weeks. Daniel said the longer you let it sit, the less yeasty it will taste. But after three weeks, depending on the type of yeast you use, your alcohol content should between, be between 14 and 18% alcohol. So, and he said it's going to be very yummy. So, before I say goodbye, I want to show you Daniel's product. So, this is my husband's cigar box 
bass, two string guitar that Daniel Orion made. Some Lucky Pick guitars. He numbers everyone. And Kenny's was number 24. And it sounds absolutely amazing. And he's also in a band, you can look him up and I'll put the link, The Crack Show. We're huge Renaissance Festival fans and we dress up and we enjoy his music, we enjoy his products, and I'm hoping that in three weeks, we can come back and I can do another video and I can pour some of this homemade wine in this awesome wine glass and we can raise our glasses and have a toast and say cheers and enjoy some homemade wine. All right guys, so I will see you in three weeks. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the closet and uh, Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be yummy. All right, bye, thanks for watching. Okay guys, so save your apple juice jugs because when this is done, you can just go ahead and pour it in this and then you can save them and store it in these containers, so all right.